Welcome to episode 1599 of the Multifamily Collective. Let's talk about being responsive. Um, and I look, I'm going to raise my hand. I'm going to say there are times, definitely times, definitely occasions where I am not incredibly responsive. And I can give you a handful of excuses. I can probably give you excuses as long as my arm. And I'm pretty tall and I'm biggie. So that makes my arm really long. But it's, it's important in today's world um, to be responsive. If somebody sends you a note, makes a phone call, uh, sends you a LinkedIn message, an Instagram DM, and so on and so forth. There are so many ways that you can, can be contacted these days and you have to pay attention to all of them, especially if you've, if you've provided invitation to people to contact you in various spaces. LinkedIn, LinkedIn is another one. But if, uh, if people reach out to you, you have to make an effort to get back to them in a very timely manner. Even if you get back to them and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm really behind right now. And it's it's going to take me 48 hours to get back to you. It's going to it's gonna take me 72 hours to get back to you. It's going to take me a week to get back to you. Um, but at least acknowledge that a person has sent you a message and that you've received it and that you intend to respond to it and then respond to it in the time that you've set for them. Uh, so. It's, it's important because so many times today, people send messages and people prioritize their needs ahead of the needs of the person that is reaching out to you. And in some cases, in some rare cases, that's okay. Look, you've, you've got an agenda. Your, your to-do list can't be the to-do list of other people. If it is, you'll never get anything accomplished in your own world, but you almost have to set a hierarchy as it relates to the people that are reaching out to you. If you've got, if you've got the CEO of your company reaching out to you or the CEO of your company or somebody in the hierarchy of things reaching out to you and they're, they're definitely levels above you uh, as it relates to positions, especially internal to an organization, you probably should get back to that person very quickly. Whereas if you've got a peer or you've got somebody out in the marketplace, you consider a, a workspace colleague, then then the, at least the acknowledgement that you've received an email, email and you intend to get back or some sort of communication you intend to get back to that person soon, uh, that's appropriate and necessary uh, and respectful and professional. Um, and then certainly in your downstream, people, people really rely on you as it relates to getting information so that they can make decisions and move their business forward. It's incredibly important. I would almost say downstream is as important as upstream. And then the, the peer base is the one where you, if you're going to make some compromises, you might, you might do it amongst peers. Uh, but even then you would do it sparingly and not very often. So anyway, my encouragement to you this year, 2024, make space for yourself to be very responsive as it relates to the people that are reaching out to you for information uh, and, or just simply saying hi touching base, want to get coffee, that kind of, that kind of meeting is very important. It will be in 2024. So take care. We'll talk to you again soon.